more than 9,000 feet down in the ice-cold waters of the North Atlantic, a hey, delicate Mark. operation. Mark. Let's get out of here. Come on up. Lateral, hang on. Lateral left. Let's keep going. Back out of here. Don't go to the right. Don't go to the right. All made possible by this underwater robot and this yacht belonging to Paul Allen, billionaire co-founder of Microsoft. There's many steps uh, in the recovery process, just excavating it from the area it was trapped. And it wasn't until it was on the deck that we all really realized what a beautiful and special bell it was. And, and, um, and you know, there was a, a spontaneous uh, a round of applause for, for what we had accomplished. The mighty hood was the pride of Britain's pre-war Navy. When the German battleship Bismarck escaped into the Atlantic, the Hood joined the pursuit. In the strait between Greenland and Iceland, she came within range of the German ship's guns. This was the result. More than 1,400 men died, just three survived. Three days later, the Bismarck herself was sunk. The Hood's salvaged bell will be donated to the Royal Navy Museum here in Portsmouth. Bells on ships are very significant. They represent, in many ways, the character of the ship. Um, this was a bell that was presented to the ship from the previous hood. So actually, it has a longer history than the hood itself. And that represents the continuity between ships and between men. So if you're going to save one thing that would represent the spirit of the ship and can be a memorial to all of those men who died, then it should be that bell. The hood went down with her guns thundering. A tragic reminder, the first sea lord said today, of the high price Britain paid for survival and freedom in World War II. Nick Hyam, BBC News.